to the 404 Audio Show. This is a new podcast from 404audio.com. I am Bill Hoffman, a.k.a. Thesis, a.k.a. Wiki, and I'm joined by Michael Vettapattern, a.k.a. Mickey. We are going to be hosting this hello, day. Hello, hello. We have been in the mix with Atlanta Drum and Bass since 2003, and that was head up by Anthony, by Mayhem, from 2003 until 2013. He gave me the keys and said, hey, continue on the 404 Audio name, and the definition, I think, for this website and what 404 Audio has been um, is basically an information center for Atlanta Drum and Bass. It's been a forum, and it was for a long time, and it gave all sorts of information about shows and discussions about tracks and just kind of had a sense of community, and a lot of people um, joined into the forum and joined into the discussion. Um, since I've been at the, uh, at the driver's seat, Tried a few different things to move uh, with the uh, with the name and, and with the brand and our latest 2019 endeavor is to do a podcast and do the same thing that the the website and that the brand has done the entire time, which is to inform you about Atlanta Drum and Bass. We've been we're going to host this thing and we're going to talk about Atlanta Drum and Bass and different topics and uh, you know hopefully entertain you. audio.com forum and back when I jumped on that forum which was about 2006 I want to say um, forums were still one of the major ways that communities got together and still talked about things it was uh, Facebook was around but there wasn't like it was pre Facebook yeah at that point yeah the forum definitely was. what was your username uh, herb herb taken from my last name and so um, Based on that, I mean, there was always constantly posts about events coming up. There was. Where did you find out about the forum? Who told you? How did you know that? Did you do a search? Um, did you go to a show? Do you remember? I don't remember exactly whether I went to a show first and then heard about the forum, or if it was the other way around. I think I had just been so jazzed up about Ultra Music Festival 2006, because that was one of the first places that I heard drum and bass on like a huge sound system. I came right back to Atlanta, and I think I instantly just searched for Atlanta drum and bass. It, it could have been from that, honestly. One of the cool things, if you do that now, if you go to 2019 and go into Google and type in Atlanta drum and bass, you're going to see Torch, which is the show that we do, and Elevate, which is the show that Zach and Amanda, aka Johnny Goodtime, and uh, throw, and it, it's been through many different stages meta pattern is a big part of that as well as many other atlanta drum and bass endeavors in 2019 so it's cool to know that you can go you could still do that same internet. search yeah do a search atlanta drum and bass and, and you're it gonna would find be something. a good chance of coming up good it'll come up for you so, uh, so i was thesis i think thesis or thesis underscore hubs was my and then eventually went to thesis okay for my username on the forum um, which you check the board every day i mean that was just yeah yeah there was like it just like any forum at the time there was like a no, you know, no hold barred area where you can just talk about anything, and then there was like more specific little sub areas for drum and bass it. specifically, and you know, all sorts of drama, which was typical of forums back in the day. Yeah, it was just a little bit more anonymous, potentially, I guess. Um, Definitely more than Facebook, where it's like your real name. Yeah, you know, yeah. I can hide behind I'm thesis. You may know that's Bill, but now it's like if I post something on Facebook, it's like, well, that's Bill Hoffman. So that's yeah, yeah. There's no getting around that. But the forum did have have some of that. Um, I miss it. I miss, I wish we could have kept it going when we moved over from Anthony's, you know, reign 
<laughs> right, right. Uh, into mine, and um, I've I've done some. You can do a search, and you get a way. I think it's waybacktheArchive.org or Wayback mm-hmm. something, and it, you can find some of the posts, but it only some of the, the major front, ones. Yeah, the front page, and you can get some of the information uh, for poor audio. The first way I found out about it was from. Um, a forum that was started right before that uh, that my friend Dale Ross has started called uh, Atlanta or ATL Progression and it was kind of the precursor to 4 4 Audio and then Anthony got together with Becky B-Rock and the guys from Evil Intent and was like we're going to do this Atlanta forum Mm -hmm. and then he built so much around that but it's always been it's been information it lets you know and, and that's what We've tried to do, we do a Google Calendar now and kind of keep up with events, but I was hoping that this podcast would be another way to just have content for the brand and, yep, and, yep. And, uh, and get that information out there. The 404 Audio Show with your hosts, Meta Pattern and Thesis. back to Atlanta and he's going to play at Torch on the 8th so two shows in February and if you want to check any of these shows and anything that we feel has a significant amount of drum and bass you can go to 404audio.com and right on the homepage will be a calendar that shows you the Atlanta drum and bass events 
Uh, so you can go right there. Yep. You get the info. Shout outs to Sonar DMB. They got a weekly Tuesday show in Austin, Texas, and the last few times I went, it was it was pretty lit. Which is confusing to me because Brandon CJ name is Sonar, and I don't Sonar, and I don't know is he doing the show and uh, had that. Or you were already doing it, and he was like, well, you've got to book me. <laughs> I've got to be a part of this. I, I, I honestly don't know. I personally haven't actually <laughs> talked with Brandon whenever if I... If you know, <laughs> in the comments, please. Let yeah, us know. yeah. We thought we'd uh, share some of the current drum and bass that we're interested in. I've got a track, and Pattern has a track as well. This first one for me is Need for Mirrors. It's called Oval, and it was on his album from last year. So... This guy has been somebody that I've, I've started to pick up on in the last couple of years. Um, I'd seen his tunes for a number of years and just kind of slept on them. And then I heard a bunch of liquid that he made. And I was like, well, this is the kind of stuff that I w- I'm really interested in. But this guy, he does everything. Um, so this one's called Oval. We'll check it out live on the 4 Audio Show with Metapattern and Thesis. Need for Mirrors that was Oval that was on his album last year on Commercial Suicide. Awesome. awesome.
Four Audio Show with your hosts Meta Pattern and Thesis. on the podcast um, is uh, a shared love for me and Meta Pattern, which is beer, the most delicious substance that there ever was. Uh, we're drinking currently... It's too delicious. It's too delicious. That is definitely the problem. We're drinking currently for our uh, podcast, uh, tasting a IPA that came from New Belgium, out of uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, and also out of Asheville, North Carolina. This is the Voodoo Ranger IP Liquid Paradise that they just started to can. Um, and it's delicious because everything IPA normally ends up being pretty delicious. That's right. Taste test. This is what is this meta pattern? I'm gonna butcher this, even though I took several years of German in, in high school and college. Uh, Schofferhofer. Schofferhofer. Uh, Hefeweizen, grapefruit, grape beer. Right, let's see what we got. Uh, unfiltered Hefeweizen beer with grapefruit juice and natural flavor. Wow. Colored with beta carotene. Wow. Um, this stuff is so orange in the beer bottle that you can probably see it just by listening to this podcast right now. There's, there's some weird bite at the end. The beginning part's pretty good. It's, it smells like fruity pebbles. It smells excellent. Beta carotene, I imagine that's something that's probably found in carotene. That's also something you can see with a Jamaican accent. Though it's not very good. Beta carotene. Often, I think a different word is that how you would say them with the Jamaican dialect and pizza carotene would be a different one that uh, lend itself. How, how much does your Jamaican accent come through when you are MC Hubs? Does it get away? Do you get carried away sometimes? I do. In the moment? I do sometimes. Especially um, with some, some good raga tracks in the background? It, yeah, there's two times that it, it really gets carried away. Um, the Jamaican accent definitely gets carried away. But I've had a lot to drink. I mean, a real lot. <laughs> I, it's it's hard to turn it off. And and sometimes rhyming. I, I didn't. I never put the two together. I had a friend in fifth grade who was from Jamaica. Met him in school and became buddies. And we go over to his house and spend the night. And his entire yeah, all of his family had a thick, all of super thick Jamaican accent. He could turn it off and on. This is school. His name was Rory. He would be like, hey, Rory, nice to meet you. And then he would turn it off and wagwan and do the whole thing. And so from staying there, that's how I got interested in doing the accent. 
Um, I've always been a fan of trying to, even as a little kid, trying to do sort of different accents. So that's how that came around. Later, I learned how to, got introduced into drum and bass and, and started rhyming and never put those two together. And I was, um, I was hanging out with some buddies. This guy used to play a lot at the Pyramid and the old Irish show, this guy Tyler Neos. And I was just doing the accent, and he's like, why do you never do that on the microphone? That is what you should be doing. And I'm like, I don't have any of the rhymes. He's like, whatever you're saying, <laughs> it sounds good. Just do that. And so uh, that's how the whole thing went. Or if I drink a bunch, the whole thing starts to get a little slow. But, right on, right but it's on. fun. You know, it's fun. This is, this is odd, this orange concoction. The smell is still kind of getting to me. It's so sugary smelling. Um, what is the yeah? What is the what is the AP ABV uh, or something? It tastes like it could be four something. I think it's around four, four, six, four, seven. Contains not more than three point two percent. Three point two. All <laughs> oh, right. Man. So if you're on the BAC tonight, you're probably going to be fine. Have, you, have we done the BAC? It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been since We've uh, done a couple it, torches ago. A couple of torches ago. The uh, blood alcohol content uh, device, which has an app, and you can use the app as well, but you can keep up with your drinking um, in a responsible way. Yes, 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 that's right. It's time for another meta pattern tune. This one is by PK called Dancing Swing. Uh, starts out with a lot of Ron Burgundy style jazz and gets into something really jazz funky and nasty after that. So check this out. Life being a state of existence. You can't learn it in uh, college or university. It's something that you live and yeah. experience. Meta pattern and thesis.
other thing regarding apps and phones is uh, the untapped app. I'm gonna have to enter the Shuffer Hopper Grapefruit Hepa Hepavizen yeah. into that real Let's, quick. Yeah, I'm gonna punch that in there as well. So if that. you're using that app and you track mm -hmm. your beer consumption, or you just like to track all the different flavors and styles, go ahead and add us on there. Uh, I think my username is Hayes Beer. I think mine's Thesis 72. That is not. We'll, so, in post, yeah. we'll figure that out. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know what it is. Um, can I see the spelling of this so I can get it added on? Yeah. Or, uh, I've already gone, gone terrible. The grapefruit. Oh, it's a rattler, is what it says. Yeah, that means it has like actual grapefruit juice, not just flavor. A shandy rattler. It's a 2.5. 2.5. Well, and it is an import because it is from Germany. The label says it contains no more than 3.2. It just doesn't say anything. So in high school, you picked up German for your language. That's yes. what you, you have a little family heritage or no. the No. It, it doesn't seem like it's going to be easy like some of the other options. Well, it is relatively easy to learn compared to some other languages if you're an English speaker, I think. Um, I, I don't know why I chose it in high school, but we ended up going over there uh, senior year for a, to Germany. Yeah, did a little bit of study abroad thing, uh, exchange student program. Did somebody come to your house? Yes. So your parents took care of another high school kid who was yes. from Germany. Yes. And you were in Germany at that time. No, no, no. We did. They came over oh, here first, and then I went over there. So what was that experience like having? It was really cool being in Europe as a 18 year old was really cool. Um, plus, since we were on vacation, basically there were no responsibilities. We just got to see all sorts of different cities. We ended up driving all over Europe. Uh, but one of the main things we did was drink some beer, and the uh, the Rattler was a really popular choice among most of us because I think we were just getting into drinking beer at the time. Right. And if you don't like beer so much, then it makes sense to go with the Rattler because that can be right. half and half with lemonade or Sprite or lemonade and Sprite, and it just makes it that much more drinkable. I've tried some of them uh, more recently, and there's something like with like a, some sort of like bicycling thing. I can't remember. We'll have to I'll have to get somebody to look that up. Which one? Which cat is going to help us here? And we are. Um, our lookup and our, uh, uh, our fact finder. Our designated cat of the week this week was Butters, but she's not around. We, uh, we're we recording at the Meta Pattern studio this time, so we have three cats on call. Butters is a designated cat, and she is not going to look this up for us. Yeah, we're going to have to either hire somebody or get a third laptop or some sort of tablet to, uh, to fact check something. Yeah. So about what Rattler. Rattler has something to do with bicycles. If you know out there, leave, <laughs> leave us a... Leave us a note in the comments and let us know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're all lower. Right, well. right. It's a little too sweet for my taste at this point. When I right think of a beer, it it's a little too sweet, but it is good. It's funny because we both like IPAs. All three of us, shout out to Amy in the back. Amy hey, how are you doing? Amy Patter. Amy, do you have a Twitter handle we need to announce? Uh, Instagram, PBRCats. There it is. There it is. So like, comment, subscribe. All right, well, we might get to another taste test. We might not. Uh, you're tuned to the 4 Audio Show with Mickey and Wiki, a.k.a. Metapad. Boom! <laughs>
Four Audio Show with your hosts Meta Pattern and Thesis.
track selection this one is from the mythical dawn wall and it's called emblem of the sun all right again i've never heard of file this i have a tribal setting that's what it's like you're in tune for audio thank you wiki on this I saw on UKF and also on Bport that Benny L for the first time in Bport history um, has released a tune and it went number one on not just the drum and bass charts in Bport but over the overall charts of every sort of genre. So, and that's never happened before in the 15 years of Bport. So, big ups to Benny L for his remix of John Holt's Police and Helicopter. Helicopter. Number one on B Port, a remarkable achievement. Big ups to the one like Vinny. We always knew drum and bass could still do it. It's pretty wild to dethrone uh, all the other uh, massive EDM teams that are out there. Yeah! Yarp.
All right, so we got another track here from Meta Pattern. Take us away. All right. This is Bristol Break Remix. You might recognize this song from an Elevate DMB video celebrating three years of Elevate DMB in Atlanta. You might recognize Technomatic from that same show, Elevate 3 Year. First one to believe musical. We guess Elevate Crew. Next one on the 15th of February. We'll see you once again to believe. So, Morphix and Trap. You're the mix. This is Technomatic, Bristol, and Break Remix. And it matters to you. Excellent shows, an amazing drum and bass artist from the time. Like every week, someone else would roll through, and it was always just a great time with everybody. One of my biggest regrets is not getting the shirt because they did a shirt at the end, and it's got everybody in there. If you have a picture of the shirt, tweet at us. Even though we don't have Twitter handles to send it to, but you can send it over to Four Four Audio on Facebook. I uh, would love to see that lineup. And how yeah. many? How many? We'll have to do a future. Uh, show how many we've seen out of that. Shout to the mayhem, the author of the transit shows for audio.
unknown Cindy Abyss So I drink more drink and I piff more piff It's a dismal mix to get that fix all fixed When something is this broken it gets stripped and tipped In this realm of division there are ghosts in the streets When I look up in the mirror they're all closer to me Am I them or are they me? I'm tempted to say peace Demon, demon, triple double, triple double Demon, demon, triple double, triple double Demon, demon, triple double, triple double In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Host Host demon, triple double, triple double Demon, demon, triple double, triple double Demon, demon, triple double, triple double In the name of the Father, the Son and the Califlangelistic man is masochistic See me in the alley chatting with cheese open So the hands are missing Mysticism winning in the middle of a minute That was written as a paradox by timeline critics Women wonder why men never give their time back Men are stuck in bundles of their own misalignment Trouble is, nothing really matters once you find it The ice pick, the knife pick, the reason we are psychic Cycling around oversized blind signposts Missing all the messages hidden in the line, Joe Life's like a box if you let paper define you When signing dotted lines you disregard your life's assignment Right then, we're only briefly here But when minutes turn to hours then to weeks then turn to years The essence of life is to live it how you please But I died years ago so let the not be breathe Mostly, but it's gonna go tangent all over the place. Tangent. Speaking of tangents, for if you know me, um, you know that I've been an Android user for my entire life, and I've now switched over the last two weeks over to iPhone. And uh, I have to say, I'm liking it. I didn't think that I would, but the display is pretty good, and the battery life is good, and the Siri thing works pretty good. So I'm still. It's already now trying to. I've triggered it. I'm saying, I'm saying the code word. And it's continuing to just write what I say. In Syria, it works pretty good, so I'm already now triggered. Okay, so does it pick up when you use the Rasta accent? Right, let's find out. All right, okay. so Siri, cancel. Hey, Siri. Yeah, if owned it, 100% no problem. Guaranteed. I have my Siri set for, like, an Irish accent. And 
my dogs are pretty good. I told them, they're like, why are you not being regular? <laughs> well, I was like, I don't know, it's giving me some sort of option. Here's what I read back. Hey Siri, it holds 100%. Problems guaranteed with 11 Irish accents. I told my daughter not to make it like a regular Rihanna and give me some. Here's her red back. Ah, uh, can't, can't blame her for trying. That was we good. tried. All right, well, coming up with another beer tasting. This one is called Chance IPA and it is by Wild Leap Brew. Uh, Bill, you know a little bit about them? Out of LaGrange, Georgia. That's right. Uh, and they came on the scene last year and they have a number of. IPAs. We tried one up at Empire. Shout out Empire. Follow them on Untap. So we have determined that our podcast is uh, definitely going to feature some beer. We're going to talk some drum and bass, tell you about some of the different events, play some tunes, and um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good, pretty good format we get going. Thank you everybody for tuning in and checking us out. We're going to try to make this a monthly thing. This is episode zero. We're just getting our feet wet here. Episode zero. Let us know what you think. Um, I will tell you what I think of this IPA. It is pretty good. It's got a nice crisp kind of bite to it. American style, I would suppose. Uh, I don't know what the IBU count is. Maybe 50-ish. We got our cat researchers on this, but they they can only tap the iPad or the Samsung tablet so fast to uh, get our count, but we'll get it for the next time. Yep. Thanks again for tuning in. We will see you guys next month. You can find this on various outlets that we will announce at another point. But I'm hoping we'll at least uh, have this on SoundCloud, try and get it on YouTube, and we'll also, uh, as any good podcast, uh, find a way to reach the iTunes uh, channel and broadcast. So I know Meta Pattern. You can catch him next month at the next edition of Elevate on the 15th at the Believe Music Hall. Big ups to Meta Pattern and the Elevate crew. Until next time. All right. Thanks, everyone. See ya. See ya.